Hello and welcome to the course on discrete mathematics. My name is Himanshu and I am going to cover the complete course. So I consider the, uh, this course discrete mathematics as one of the most important courses in computer science. And just like you consider the subjects like programming, data structures and algorithms, I put this course on discrete mathematics in the same day. Because it creates the basics to study all these different courses. Okay, so in this course, in uh, on this TechTed website, we are creating this course as a collaborative effort with gatelectures.com and TechTed.com, and this course is specifically designed for computer science and information technology students. So even if you are in college level, or even if you are in a, a diploma level student, or even if you are preparing for any competitive examinations like Gate, this um, in this course I am going to cover everything from very basics to some decent uh, depth of the of the topics and concepts. So my goal is to show you the relevance and the practicality of discrete mathematics and computer science. And I want to give students which are studying computer science all the mathematical foundations uh, they need for the for pursuing a good career in computer science. Okay? For me computer science is all mathematics. So if you do logical reasons or think mathematically then you can achieve great heights in computer science. So a discrete mathematics course has more than one purpose students should learn a particular set of mathematical facts and even how to apply those mathematical facts and such a course should teach students how to think logically and mathematically. So to achieve these goals, I'm going to cover the five important areas uh, and these five important areas will be mathematical reasoning, combinatorial analysis, discrete structures, algorithmic thinking and applications and modeling. So a successful discrete mathematics course should carefully blend and balance all these five areas. So I will try to cover everything in an as efficient way as possible because I do not want us to waste more time in uh, learn, learning repeating the same thing again and again, right? Here my goal is to uh, give you the complete concept in a very decent depth to give you the amount of practice which is required and still be more efficient so that you can learn more in the minimum amount of time and I, I can deliver more in the minimum amount of time okay so to learn this course I don't expect you to know more than a, a high school level mathematics because I will try to cover everything from the very basics uh, to a reasonable depth in such a way that even if you are a diploma student or even if you are an engineering student or even if you are a master's level student then this course will be helpful to you okay so I will give you the practice material and quizzes and theory material in video format and after you solve a particular quiz or you attempt, attempt a particular quiz, all these quiz problems will be available in PDF format also. Okay, And the topics which I am going to cover in this complete uh, subject, in this complete course will be which is mathematical logic, propositional logic, propositional equivalence, predicate quantifiers, nested quantifiers and rules of inference. And in this next uh, topic will be set theory. In set theory I am going to cover from the very basics and uh, we are going to study sets, what are set operations, functions and cardinality of sets and what is countability in sets. Okay, And then we are going to cover the recursive functions. So recursively, I'm going to say, I'm going to define you what is the recursive functions, how to, how do you define the recursive functions and what are the applications of recursive function in computer science. For example, you can, you have seen what are the recursive algorithms in some cases and then we are going to cover the recursion and recurrence relations and after uh, doing the recursion and recurrence relation I am going to cover so how to solve the linear recurrence relations plus divide and concur algorithms in computer science. We are going to cover countability so in the countability we are going to cover what are the basics of countability then what is the pigeon hole principle and what are the applications of pigeon hole principles in principle in computer science and after that we are going to cover the permutation and combinations so after uh, doing the permutation and combinations we are going to cover the generating functions okay and after that we are going to cover relations in relations we are going to cover uh, what are the relations and what are the properties of those relations what are the different types of relations what is a two array relation what is a three array relation and what, what is an array relation and then we are going to co uh, cover what are the representations of relations and then what is the closure properties uh, of uh, relations and then we are going to find what is the equivalence in relations and then partial ordering, subgroups, semigroups, monoids, homomorphism, normal subgroups, rings, integral domains, and fields. And after covering relations, we are going to cover graphs. In case of graphs, we are going to cover the, what are the different terminologies of graph, representations of graph, isomorphism, connectivity, Euler path, Hamiltonian path, shortest path problems, what are planar graphs, and what are 
graph clearing algorithms. So graphs is covered in actually three areas in gate gate examination. So th- that is why this is one of the most important topic in computer science. So I'm going to cover all. I'm going to merge all these three areas into one single area into one single subject so that I don't have to repeat the same thing again and again. Okay. So uh, the next thing is the reference book which you will be referring for this subject will be Kenneth H. Rawson and uh, I'm not going to say what exactly should the particular number of hours which uh, within which you can cover this complete subject but I will say it should it should be somewhere around 30 to 32 hours or 35 hours but um, as I'm try, I'll try to be as efficient as possible so maybe uh, you'll get the complete subject within 32 hours to 40 hours and because we are going to cover everything in a reasonable depth so maybe I'm going to cover the complete subject within a time period of 30 days okay and there will be 10 quizzes which are pos- uh, which will be available for this complete subject and there will be after completing the complete uh, subject so complete course we are going to have a one full length examination right so now let us start with the course of discrete mathematics and let us start with the first topic in discrete mathematics okay all the best <laughs>